Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I am now going to be answering question number four from the June 2021 International A Level Edexcel Mechanics M1 paper. Now, this question here is about um, a bucket which is used by a crane on a building site to move materials between the ground and the top of a building. The mass of the bucket is 15 kilograms. The bucket is attached to a vertical cable with the bottom of the bucket horizontal. The cable is modelled as light and inextensible. When the bucket is on the ground, a bag of cement of mass 25 kilograms is placed inside the bucket. The bucket with the bag of cement moves vertically upwards with a constant acceleration of 0 0.2 meters per second squared. Air resistance is modelled as being negligible. We've got to first find the tension in the cable. So let's make a little diagram here. Um, we have a cable. We just draw a cable and we have a bucket. I'll just draw the bucket like a rectangle shape. Okay, something like this. And inside uh, the bucket, we have a bag of cement. So just another little rectangle, just a crude diagram here. We've got here the mass of the bucket and the mass of the bag of cement. All right, so there's a tension in the cable. The mass of the bucket was 15 kilograms, so that's 15 G newtons. And the mass of the bag of cement was 25 kilograms, so that's 25 G newtons is weight. Okay, the weight, remember, weight is equal to mg. So the mass times g is the weight. So 15 times g is the weight of the bucket. 25 times g is the weight of the um, bag of cement. And we've got to find the tension in the cable. We know that it's moving upwards with constant acceleration of 0 0.2 meters per second squared. So it's going up here with a constant acceleration of 0 0.2 meters per second squared. So I'm going to take this as one big particle. So you've got your tension in the string and you've got your forces here. These two forces together can be taken as one. So you've got a situation like this where you have your tension, you have like your particle both combined together and you have this is 40 g together the weight of both this is t and the acceleration is going upwards so it's moving upwards so we can say that if we um we know that f the force is equal to the resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration so the resultant force here is t minus 40 g as it's moving upwards so i'll take up as positive resolving taking up as positive is equal to the mass which is 40 40 kilograms so the mass is 40 in total times the acceleration okay so we can say t is equal to 40 times the acceleration which was 0 0.2 plus 40 times g which is 9.8 so the tension in the string is going to be equal to 40 times 0 0.2 plus 40 multiplied by 9.8 which gives us 400 so it's 400 newtons is the tension in the cable so there's the answer to part a now to part b where it says at the top of the building the bag of cement is removed and a box of tools of mass 12 kilograms is now placed in the bucket later on the bucket with the box of tools is moving vertically downwards with a constant accelerate deceleration of 0 0.1 meters per second squared air resistance is again modeled as being negligible find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the bucket and the box of tools okay so we have a situation now where you have the uh, bucket this time inside the bucket there's a bag of tools okay so this time there's a bag of tools um so there's a tension in the string you have the mass of the bucket which is 15 uh, 15 kilograms so that's 15 g newtons is its weight the mass of the tools is 12 kilograms so that's 12 times g that's the weight of the tools so you've got 12 g and 15 g and here we got to find the reaction between the floor of um between the bucket and the box of tools so that's the reaction force here it's between the the you know the base of the bucket and the box of tools so what we're going to focus on is basically just this here i'm going to focus on that we know that there is a deceleration 
of so it's going downwards and here the acceleration is minus 0 0.1 meters per second squared because it says deceleration downwards is a deceleration of 0 0.1 means acceleration is minus 1 point meters per second downwards okay so i'm going to just focus on this i'm going to focus on the floor of the bucket and the box of tools so i'm going to think about the forces acting on the box of tools only nothing else so you have the reaction force from the floor on the box of tools and you have the weight of the box of tools which is 12 g newtons okay those are the forces acting on the box of tools i'm just focusing on the box of tools only okay the force is acting on that i know the whole system is going down with an acceleration of negative 0 0.1 meters per second squared so i can just resolve the forces acting on this part of the system isolated from the rest of it so i don't have to worry about this t and this 15 all of this t and this 15 is incorporated within this reaction force so if i take down as positive as it's moving down take down as positive because it's moving downwards Okay, so the, resolving the forces downwards, I've got 12G minus the reaction is equal to the mass. Now the mass I'm talking about now because I'm only considering the box of tools and the mass of the box of tools is 12 kilograms. So this is 12 times minus 0 0.1. That's the resultant force is mass times acceleration. This is the acceleration. This is the mass of the box of tools and this is the resultant force on the box of tools so 12 G minus R equals 12 times minus 0 0.1 so if I rearrange this 12 G plus 12 times 0 0.1 is equal to R just bring that on this side so R is going to be 12 times 9.8 plus 12 times 0 0.1 so R is given by 12 times 9.8 plus 12 times 0 0.1 that gives you 118.8 newtons now we can give our answer in terms of uh, 3sf which would be 119 newtons or if you want we can say 120 newtons 3sf or 2sf are acceptable 2sf why because we're using g as 9.8 they told us in the beginning of the paper to use g as 9.8 meters per second squared so that's the two significant figures so any answer which involves g can be written to two significant figures but they also accept three significant figures i personally would leave it like this because it's acceptable to them and questions where you don't use g you have to write it to 3sf so it's just safer to keep to keep it to 3sf um, in these type of questions so that's the answer for part b so remember you can isolate a part of the system and you can take the system as a whole if you want to find the reaction between the floor of the between the um the bucket and the box of tools then you should isolate one of those things so i'm isolating the box of tools okay i'm thinking about the forces acting only on the box of tools alone and nothing else okay so the the forces acting on the box of tools alone are the reaction force from the floor of the bucket and the weight of the box of tools okay the weight acting on it and those are the forces acting on it and then you can resolve those forces and find the reaction force that way okay so there's the answer for part b other questions from this paper of june 2021 m1 can be found by clicking on this link other questions about this topic of um this is i guess um forces okay this is like um vertical motion under gravity and uh, forces resultant forces um can be found in this link over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that should appear in the middle and at the top of the page you can find a link to another m1 paper and also you can find um in the description links to other papers i've done p1 p2 p3 P4, S1, also IGCSE papers. Thank you for watching. And this is actually uh, connected particles, this topic. And see you soon.